Hi, my name is Gormadin Makir. I am using the reunion story with my family to raise awareness about the impact of conflicts on families on World Refugee Days. In May this year, Gormadin Makir returned to his home village of Pandeton for the first time in 20 years. It was all too much for Gore's aging mother. Her legs gave way and she fell to the ground, trembling. Yeah. Gore last saw his parents in 1993, when he went to live with relatives in Khartoum before fleeing for his life at the height of the North-South War, when the country was part of Sudan. Unity State was then a dangerous place. In addition to the fighting between the North and South, intercommunal conflict was frequent, and rural areas lacked basic services, such as education and health care. So, when Gore was nearly eight years old, his mother sent him to live with his uncle. To be able to see, see her like this, it's amazing. I don't know now what to say. Gore's reunion with his father was equally emotional. The old man sprang into the air, carrying a rod and singing traditional songs. According to custom, the father rubbed ash from cow dung on his son's forehead and thanked the gods for bringing him home. During his 20-year absence from home, Gore became a refugee in Egypt. He was resettled to the United States, where he received his education. He was stateless until he obtained his U.S. citizenship in February 2013. Now Gore was back in Pandeton as a returnee. The human cost of conflict is impossible to measure. One cannot quantify the grieving of years of separation. Death, trauma, and wasted potential are the price that families are made to pay in war. All I can say is thank you to UNHCR for making this possible. I, it would not happen without their support. And, and, and I, you know, as now my parents are going to be relieved. My mom, my dad, the boss, like my dad said, now you come, now will, I can die right now. That's what he told me. He said, now I'm, I'm satisfied, you are here, I can die.